So I'm going to show you today how to style a pixie cut. She's got dry hair already. It's very, very straight as you can see. We're going to give it a little bit of texture and movement. So we're going to start from dry hair and we're actually going to spray on a beach spray. Beach spray is just a salty texture spray. Comes in lots of different forms, lots of different names. Whenever you apply it to dry hair, you're going to get the most intense results, so you're going to get the most textured results. So if you have super straight hair, I would definitely recommend that. If you have curly or wavy hair, you can just use a little bit on wet hair and it should work just fine. But you can see already that we're able to just kind of manipulate those short bits into looking like they are less straight. I'm just going to take my hand and kind of mess things around being sure to saturate everything. Now you could just let this air dry and see if that was enough to do it, but I'm actually going to diffuse it today. And the reason that I would use a diffuser, even though she doesn't have curly hair naturally, is diffuser just softly circulates the airflow of the blow dryer. So instead of blowing the hair all over, the hair just kind of freezes where it is and it dries in whatever shape you put it in. So we use diffusers to blow dry naturally curly or wavy hair, but I like to use it within styling too to, to kind of lock in a shape that we've created. So this is the diffuser. It's just a universal attachment to the blow dryer. And I'm going to use low airflow and high heat to set the shape. Low airflow again because we just want to freeze it where it's at. So you see just by using the diffuser you just kind of freeze in that, that wave or curl. So her hair, even though it's very, very straight, naturally takes the curl really nicely. You can see how much kind of body and texture we got out of it. I'm going to take something to polish up the ends right now. You could use a wax or a paste or any kind of a polishing product. But we just want to give the hair a little bit of definition, smooth it out in certain places. Just makes the interior shape a little bit more interesting to do something like this. And don't forget about the back and the sides. We always forget about those. You always want all of your hair to be the same texture. You don't want to have two kind of competing textures going on. So I'm just manipulating the hair, shining it up a little bit, making it a little bit less messy, but still keeping all of that great texture in there. And that is how you style a pixie cut.